Hi, uh, this is Manla. Today we are going to discuss about creating visual by using XSD and visual based soap service and uh, web service calling. So these three are we are going to do demo in Oracle Service Pass. <coughs> okay, uh, let's start. So I already created uh, one service bus project here. I'm just opening. Okay, uh, first we do one thing. We are going to create one visitor. But uh, before we are going to create folder structure. Folder. Here I'm going to creating yeah here I'm going to creating new visitor it's very simple by using developer <coughs> hello visitor Uh, if you want you can change binding type and port type as well but uh, i am just using the standards ones but my service is a synchronous interface so that's why i selected synchronous in interface we have the two one is a one-way interface the another one is a synchronous i think i hope you people may know about the what is a synchronous or synchronous one-way services okay i'm not going to explain those subject i think it is already covered in previous tutorial so this is input request i'm going to create load i do have here one access to that hello access i am selecting request parameter here then here i am selecting response parameter same thing okay yeah response parameter okay okay see here uh, this is the input payload this is the output payload but i'm not going to create the fault variable so that's why i'm not going to select this one just make okay so this is created hello visitor so by using the hello visitor i am going to create soap service today so click uh, under the proxy service section click right and select insert transport select http name it as hello hello soap as okay, I'm generating pipeline pipeline as well then the next select visitor column browse the visitor hello visitor okay the next finish so this is a very simple you can you created a proxy service and the pipeline so i think i am going to simply add some logic for testing this visitor service i selected pipeline pair then our next project is service bus 
service bus project okay to finish okay now we have what we are going to do we are going to use the class to wisdom soap service as a our external service so what i am going to use here i am just clicking on the right side i am going to create same like business service using http so see here it is a business service mm. i am going to call it as a hello bs okay then next not any xml i am going to consume same visual Low visual and then next yeah uh, i am going to write this endpoint URI. i will i will change in that server level so i am keeping like same as it is just finish it so we created hello business service so same as it is we are going to create our pipeline now i am going to create first pipeline through pipeline i am going to create the proxy service service call apply okay next expose as in service called ps so uh, here i'm not going to use any xml i'm going to use xsd or visual both you can use the same visual i'm going to consume here is as well. that finish so this is created so now we have business service we have the proxy service uh, then we have the pipeline as well so what is the uh, end point you arrive this because this is the one important topic we have to change so we already deployed right is a visual soap service so we are going to check what is the proxy service transport here just check here we have the transport this one and point UI. just copy this then hello bs come here and use save up to 7001 so control then this is the same like because host name local host and the port is a 7001 so this is uh, you have to uh, replace with your server URL and the port but here I am using the local host and uh, port right so that's why I am not going to change here hello bs the pipeline and the proxy service so I am just opening web service use it as a service call out here I am going to consume our business service where is our business service the class 2 class 3 we have the LOBS Bix service select ok once you have selected you need to configure input and output payload here response where ok uh, so first we have to assign input body to request where so for that i'm going to use assign activity so assign activity here so what i'm going to capture so input payload okay there is a Request 
the same as this what I'm going to do I'll replace her response back here Send the body export current location and I this is a value of sorry okay response value response value less more content just save. See here we are calling third party service like LOBS. Then we are assigning that result into the response where this response where we are replacing in the response pipeline. We are replacing body here. Okay. So I'm going to deploy class re web service calling now. So deploy deploy to service box. So it is going to deploy. Yeah, it is deployed already. It is very quick. Just refresh and see here we have export PS because I open the test console. Just replacing the name with something like so what? Just execute it. Yeah, you got this like hello so what? A request is a so what? But your response is hello so what? So let's see uh, when it called to the third party service where we got the results. So you can trace out while calling pipeline you can test with the proxy service as well you can test with pipeline as well so just open this there is so on just execute yeah see here here it is so on. the response is a hello so on. come down see here we have the different stages we can check here because this is a flow trace like we can uh, so we have the flow trace right same ways it is a invocation trace so stage one stage one we have the service call out we call to the hello bs and this is a third party web service we called check here body we did send so on so in the response body we got hello so so this hello so it came from hello service not from here so this way we can call to third party web service okay uh, today's session is completed uh, next session we are going to discuss about other more activities uh, those are the routing and the routing options publish table dynamic publish these options we are going to discuss in the next session thank you